You Don't Even Know Who I Am is a big hit for Patti Loveless and was written by Gretchen Peters. I've always felt like this was just a great piece of songwriting and it's got a great acoustic guitar part too. We're going to capo up to the 6th fret and it kind of sounds like a mandolin. We get to use nice open key of G chords and a straightforward strum pattern to get through the whole song. On the electric guitar, we're going to use a slide to mimic as many of those pedal steel riffs as we can and then we're going to use our fingers and not use a slide to play the chorus part. Alright, we've got two pretty cool parts to learn on the acoustic guitar for this song. We've got the intro, verses, and outro, and then we'll learn the chorus part. So to start, let's learn the intro, verses, and outro. It'll look like this. Down, up, 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 down the whole time. But you can hear that it's swung, right? So it's not... That doesn't sound right, right? That would... All right, on the electric guitar, we're going to use a slide to mimic the pedal steel as much as we can because the electric guitar part on the original recording is very sparse until we get to the chorus. When we get to the chorus, if we've got our slide on our pinky finger, we should be able to use our other fingers uh, to cover that whole chorus part without using the slide at all. Or taking the slide off of our finger, which is uh, helpful in a live situation. So, as always, this is tabbed out right beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com. We're going to go just right in order of the tabs, right in order of how we encounter it in the song. So this first part is the intro riff that we play with the slide. It sounds like this. All right, so part of mimicking the uh, the pedal steel is trying to get some of these volume swells right. And it's kind of hard when we're focusing on slide and making the pitch right and uh, messing with the volume knob here with our pinky finger. If you have a Telecaster or some other types of guitars, you can pretty easily do this with your pinky finger. Um, you can adjust the volume and do these volume swells. If not, you might have to use a volume pedal or you might prefer to use a volume pedal anyway. If you've got one on your pedal board, that makes it excellent. All right, the next thing that we need to learn is what we're gonna play for the second half of the verses. So uh, the first half of the verses, we're gonna sit out, and then you can kind of hear the pedal steel come in and play some riffs over the second half of the verses, which we're gonna try our best to mimic on the electric guitar. It'll sound like this. Intro riffs. One, two, go. <laughs> <laughs> 